All right. So I don't know if you guys are as into glitter as me. And if you're new on this slide, I'm not a professional makeup artist. I quite literally don't know how to do eye makeup at all. But I like to wear it. So I thought that this would be a really fun live to do because I feel like eye makeup, specifically glitter and all of that stuff is very intimidating. And I'm like, if I can just wing it and try to figure it out, then anybody can do it. So this is the Lemonade Head LA glitter in the color Violet Hour. Like I said, I just showed you guys that other purple. I like bright colors. I think fun. Like I either go for very neutral eye makeup or a really fun pop of eye makeup. So that's what I'm going for with this. Um, I really, I don't know if you guys watched Euphoria, but the resurgence of glitter eyeshadow after Euphoria was like quite literally a cultural moment. So I was like, I'm going to get this. I don't know how to do makeup. I don't know anything about glitter, but I want to have that. So, and also my face makeup is really minimal all the time. So it kind of looks like a lot, but it's also really fun. Okay. So this is what it comes in. This great little pot. Take this off. Look, like it's just gorgeous. Like I really wish, like if it wasn't something I was going to put on my face, I would just keep it for display. Cause that is quite literally beautiful. I love this color. Okay. Now don't, don't be shocked. Cause it's, I'm just going to do a little bit like this much. And I'm just going to spread it out on the lid. And I don't have anything underneath it, but imagine how pretty this would be with, like, like a pretty purple eyeshadow. Like, just a little, a little something, you know? You can use it for anything. Like, I am thinking about going out with my friends, and I want to do, like, a full lid of this. Like, this is so fun. And you can make it as subtle or as, like, defined as you want. I know a lot of professional makeup artists who are my friends will like literally take a brush and pat it down to where it's like a full lid of glitter. And that is so beautiful, but that's a lot for me. I like for it to just be like a fun little kind of like a moment, you know, just like just enough where you have to like kind of almost even be in the right light to see it. But I will show you guys just with this one because I don't want to waste a lot of it. I'll show you what it looks like with more. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have to take this off after. So I'm going to use this much, which is like quite literally a lot. Okay. Just let me get this on there. And obviously I'm not doing this for perfection. I'm just trying to show you how much you can build it. Like, okay, obviously you wouldn't do that up there. But like, look at the texture of this. You know what I mean? Like this is such a buildable glitter. Which is so fun. Okay, well, I love this one. It, the only thing, it's not even a negative, but I tried this last night so I could practice. Or so I could, like, at least see the texture so I could not just be lying. I would be actually informed. And I woke up this morning and it was all in my eyebrows. Like, I couldn't quite get it off, but I also didn't really realize how intense it was. But... I I guess the opposite side of that is this stuff stays. Oh, um, how do you recommend getting off eye makeup? Honestly, okay, I'll just tell you this is not a Vera Shop thing. I just use this. It's my cellar water. I've used a million eye makeup removers, but I just get these microfiber towels and use my cellar water and just be very, very gentle with my eyes because that skin is really sensitive. And I go over and then I go under like that which you guys are going to see my dark circles oh okay then yeah get it from here I just meant it wasn't on my live but if they sell it that's what you need and you can get 15% off of it if you're watching a live okay but see like, that glitter really stays so I feel like you'd have to scrub a little bit more but as far as getting off my actual mascara I will like get this wet with micellar water and just press on it not hard but like kind of let it break that up and then wipe it away gently because I feel like if you're scrubbing at it that is just not good for your skin you know so anyway yes this is the or this was the violet hour it's purple it's really fun like I cannot wait to go out and use this um my friend actually was just telling me about a 70s themed birthday party and I was like oh my gosh I can't wait because I can wear so much glitter 
and it stays so well it's super buildable it's also just fun to use like it is 2021 like we made it through an absolutely terrible year like use the glitter you know what i'm saying so this is just one of the shades i got i got three i'm only going to show you guys two of them i think because one of them is out of stock and i put a different one in um my collection so you can go and shop them there are a million different shades of this stuff and it's awesome and it makes me feel like i'm on euphoria which i love actually you know what i lied i lied i will show you one of the ones that i got because i want you guys to see that there's a more neutral version so violet hour the one that i just showed you amazing 15 percent off as always during my life and in the 30 minutes after okay I'm going to show you guys this one 